Okay, so I think we will begin. <clears throat> so uh, first of all, hello and welcome to OpenLM. My name is Sagi, and in this session, we're going to look at the core functionality of OpenLM. First, we'll talk about the core functionality, the functions that you get in the basic product without any extras. I'll show you what reports you get and explain how they can help you. After that, I'll show you how it's deployed, what you install on your network, and how it all goes together. After everything, I would like to have a short um, presentation, a demonstration session, and show you all the reports live. So we'll start with the core functionality of OpenLM. It can be uh, broken down into uh, five different business ob objectives. So first is license inventory, uh, real-time usage monitoring, usage reporting, license optimization, and license server management. These might look similar at first, uh, but they are really very different. We'll look at each one in turn. So let's take a look first at the uh, license inventory. License inventory, sometimes referred to as discovery. It's a popular term in SAM software. It means knowing which licenses you own and knowing where they are located and if they are about to expire or, ex or already expired. This is the licenses report. It shows you all the engineering licenses in the organization. Each line represents one feature, which can be a complete software package, add-on, or maybe a tool. You can see everything you need to know about the license. You can see the server from which the license uh, gets pulled, its type, the quantity that you've purchased, and the license checkout policy, uh, which is defined in the license agreement. Uh, notice that you are not predefined by the vendor. You can assign your own policy values. This is the license server screen. This displays all the license managers, their status, and the number of licenses contained in each one. We can look inside <clears throat> one particular license manager and see a list of licenses contained in it. From here, we can go and view the essential procurement information. This is the license procurement report. It's an extension of the previous license report and shows critical information such as the date the license was issued, when it starts, and when it expires. Now let's move on to uh, real-time usage monitoring, which is the second primary function of OpenLM. <coughs> so from a statistical license inventory, we are now moved on to usage, where you can see real-time stats about your license efficiency. You can know how many licenses you are currently have in use and get the details of how those sessions are playing out, how people are actually using the license. <clears throat> so let's take another look at the uh, license report we saw a few slides back. Now this time we're interested in what's going on right now. We saw what's going on with the licenses, with the procurement, but we want to know what's going on right now. So besides the total number of licenses purchased, we can see how many are actually checked out and how many are available in the pool for use. We can drill down and look at all the current uh, sessions. So let's click at the last line displayed with uh, six cur uh, current usage. So clicking on the number that displays the used column, it <clears throat> takes us to the uh, currently consumed licenses screen, where we can see details of all the current sessions, 
for the selected feature, including a user, which uh, workstation is from, uh, when he started, what is the duration, and so on. In fact, we can view, <coughs> sorry, uh, we can view the currently consumed licenses for almost any combination of um, main criteria. So you can filter it by server, by vendor, by license type, by feature, and much more. Also, you can save the filtered view if you want to use it later, if you can save the filter. So we've looked at inventory and current usage. Now we're going to focus on history, not on the present. So this can mean yesterday, uh, last week, or maybe three months ago, one year back. So there are a host of uh, structured usage report in OpenLM from the dashboard giving an overview of the last week to visualizations of how usage changes during the day and of course to denials. The reports <coughs> come in form of uh, charts, tables or heat maps. So here you can see the dashboard itself. You can see that it holds all the data for the last seven days. <clears throat> now, we'll move on to the license usage report, which, as you can see here, is aggregated by week. The thinner horizontal line along the top shows you the total license inventory, while the lower, thicker line shows usage by week. Note the, note the purchase in June of additional licenses going from 35 licenses to 70 licenses which released the pressure that at the time but it was followed by a drop in demand and a further rise in the months that followed. So this data can be shown again as a table, a heat map, a form or you can even download it as a CSV. So here's the same license usage report, but looking at it a little bit different. Now it's aggregated by days. If you hover your mouse over any point displayed, uh, the total aggregated usage for that day, uh, you will be able to see two uh, consecutive days. So for example, let's take uh, this day here, level 31 and level 34, meaning that uh, the maximum amount for that day was 31 licenses for this day and 34 licenses, uh, concurrent licenses for that day. Of course that you can select the scope on the left in the filters here, the filter scope. And if you want, you can also show the license usage hour by hour, so you can see uh, within a day what's going on. You can even get the lowest resolution possible and see every new session established by pulling a license and every license returned to the pool. So it's represented here on the graph. Note uh, the peak usage on most day from late morning until uh, late afternoon. You can see it here. I mentioned the heat map display earlier. And here is one example. Note that the um, note that as usage rises, the color goes from green to yellow to orange and then to red at peak usage. Late morning until late afternoon are the highest usage periods here, as you can see, while green is in the weekend as expected. Now let's move on to denials. So what are denials? Denials show uh, the attempt to pull a license but that was rejected. It can be either a license was not available, maybe was excluded from a group, there can be many options. We can uh, group them, the denials, by a dozen different characteristics such as shown on the left. So you can uh, group them by user, by uh, group, by server, by hour, by day, 
workstation, you have a lot of options here. For example, denials by hour. So knowing how the denials vary as the day progresses in the um, as the important tool in understanding your organization needs, you can help your change by changing your license usage policy so not everyone uses the software at the same time. So you can spread it out. You can say that, okay, I have an issue at one o'clock. I can try and spread it out for um, more groups, more countries, for example. Denials grouped by user. You can see the same thing, but it's per user. And you'll be able to see it in a bar chart, a, a pie chart, or maybe a line chart, whatever you choose. But as important as trends are, you'll still want to know the details from time to time. And here you can see one particular user trying every few minutes to pull a license while all are currently taken. But I think that's enough uh, on denials reports for now. Let's talk about usage. This time from a different point of view. We looked, we looked earlier at operational reports on a granular level. Now we'll take a look at consolidated usage statistics or trends. This is the uh, license usage, uh, license activity report, what you're seeing here, and is grouped by feature. You can compare total usage time and token usage in a set period of time for different features, users, vendors, and more. So you can select, for example, to show the usage time per project and you can bill according to that project or per group, per, per organizational group, then you can bill them accordingly. As, uh, as you see in here, for example, I have uh, this group on the top here, it used uh, 6,000 hours. I know to bill them accordingly uh, per hour of usage. We've now uh, covered license inventory, meaning how many licenses you have, real-time monitoring, meaning who is actually using now, and usage reporting, meaning historical information about your uh, sessions. But then, uh, but all these uh, give you information that will help us uh, optimize our licenses to get most of, uh, to get uh, the most use out of the fewest licenses. But the inventory, the usage, uh, the real-time monitoring, it's not enough. It's not something that tells you you need 20 licenses. It, it, it's, nothing gives you an actual number, but OpenLM has a solution for it. There are also dedicated reports that hit the optimization nail right on the head. They'll tell you the usage you can expect from owning different numbers of licenses. You can know the recommended number of licenses for a defined quantity, uh, quality of service. You can see, for example, how many licenses you actually need for a certain quality of service if you're okay with the fact that only 95% of the time people will get a license, 5% will get denied. So it depends. Let me show you. The license utilization report is based on your historical usage statistics. It maps different numbers of licenses against the percentage of time that number has been in use. Uh, in this example, 60 out of 70 of the license pool are in use a mere 1%. If you can see it here on the right, 1% of the time is 60 concurrent usage. <clears throat> and if we look here, 95% QoS is 51 licenses, which are in use only 5% of the time. So this can give you an actual number of how many licenses do I need. So, for example, here, a quality of service of 95% tells me that I'm okay with the fact that users will get denied 
5% of the times that they try to pull a license. So out of 100 times that they try to pull a license, five times they will get denied. So if you're okay with that, you can punch that in here and it will tell you the exact number of licenses that you actually need. Now I had a client not long ago, I had opened this license utilization report for the first time and saw that instead of having 10,000 licenses, he only needed five. So this can get um, very, very profitable. This can uh, help you save a lot of money. <clears throat> and again, you see here the 85%. Now, 85% is still high. It's still a lot for uh, the users. So you only need 30 licenses. 30 licenses out of the 70 licenses that we have, that's, that's, that's le less than half. And you can find it very useful, I promise. If you open it, just put it on any feature that you'd like, you will find something that you can cut from the budget, I mean. The licenses not in use report it shows the same thing, but in a more direct way. Let's say that you bought 40 licenses for a certain product or toolkit, but have never used more than 25 at the same time. It happens a lot, and OpenLM's licenses not in use report points you right to the fact that you need to know. You can uh, then decide whether to continue paying maintenance for them or just to cancel them. But, but most of all, you'll know which products not to purchase next year. The fifth main function of OpenLM's core product is license server management. Meaning that you can start, stop, or reread license files uh, on the license manager. So you can stop the license manager uh, automatically uh, not automatic. Uh, sorry, you can stop the license manager um, remotely. You can start it remotely. You can reread the license file without having access to it even. You can see it here under the license server itself. You can see a panel. After you click it, you uh, expand it, and you see a panel with start, stop, and reread. So these are connected. If you have an OpenLM broker installed on the license server, these are connected to the license server itself. So it re reread the license file to start or stop the server. But you can uh, also get files from the license manager and to the license manager. So you can download important files from the license server such as a debug log, a license file, option file, and also you can upload license files in the same way. So as you see here, it's just a window that opens and it asks you if you want to download or upload it. Now, all open realm reports can be printed and downloaded to a CSV file. You can share with others a link to the report and it will be displayed. You can email the report to users, uh, groups, or even just ad hoc emails. You can schedule reports to run regularly and automatically and be sent automatically without you having to do anything. But uh, that just about completes the core functionality for the OpenLM core, which is our entry level product. Now, I would like to uh, take a look at how the OpenLM system can be deployed in your organization. So before I move on, I just want to do a, a quick recap. We saw that OpenLM can help you discover all your missing licenses. It can help you see what's going on now, uh, the current status. It can uh, give you statistical information based on your license usage. And it can also tell you how many licenses you actually need. Lastly, 
it enables you to control the license uh, manager remotely. So now let's move on to the uh, system and how it can be deployed. So we have uh, four we have uh, four uh, options to deploy the OpenLM uh, system. It can fit virtually any limitation or preference that you might have. So we have the standard, restricted, cloud, and advanced configuration. Now I'm going to go over them uh, one by one. So this is our recommended deployment method. Uh, this gets the most out of the system uh, in a, as short time as possible. So the black text represents the components that you already have on your network, like a li license manager. And the blue text represents the OpenLM components. On the right, you can see your license server. And on it, uh, you can see all your vendors. You might have one or more vendors. You install a component on the server called the OpenLM broker, which receives license inventory and usage data from the license manager. The second item to install is OpenLM. You can install it on a suitable server on your network or you can use the cloud deployment, but we'll get to that. So the OpenLM broker communicates to, the, to OpenLM and there the data is processed. Uh, it gets calculated, it gets processed, it gets grouped, then it's uh, it's shown in the browser. Uh, you go to uh, a, you go to a web page. You're able to see all the data there, and everybody with the required authority in your organization can access it. <coughs> but let's take a closer look at what's actually inside the Open OpenLM. OpenLM, this one. Let's look what's inside. Let's take a look. It has three primary components. The OpenLM server, which is a Windows server that does all the processing of the data received from the license manager. The OpenLM <coughs> web application and web server that allows you to work with OpenLM from any browser. And of course, OpenLM has an internal database as well. Now this is the standard configuration. Now this is the restricted configuration, which is the second mode of deployment, we can, we can call it restricted configuration. It's similar to the standard configuration, except that OpenLM broker is not used here. You see it's uh, the license manager straight to OpenLM. So without a broker, some data cannot be retrieved. Uh, denial information, for example, cannot be retrieved. So it's only used in cases where it isn't possible to install anything on the license server. That's why it's restricted. The uh, third option, deployment option, is the cloud option, which everything is on the cloud except for one component. You only need to install the OpenLM broker on your license server so it can collect the data from the license manager and send it to the cloud via a secured connection. So the license manager gets the data, gives it to the OpenLM broker, the OpenLM broker gives it to OpenLM cloud, and the OpenLM cloud displays it in on your browser. Uh, but this is only the beginning. We've looked at the OpenLM core functionality. This is what gives you the fastest return on your uh, on your investment. But after you've realized the power of OpenLM's core functionality, you can go even further. On top of the standard configuration, there are extensions to integrate with your enterprise directory service. You can provide information to users about license availability and establish external databases for reporting and storage. So, for example, with this configuration, users can uh, query the available availability of licenses, including the location of checked out licenses. 
with the optional OpenLM directory synchronization extension, for example, users <coughs> and orga organizational units uh, get updated from the Active Directory into OpenLM. And with the uh, Reporting Hub extension, a dedicated reporting database is automatically built once a day, ready for querying. So, in short, the OpenLM extensions uh, give you more powerful reporting and let you integrate with other IT systems. It gives your users information about license availability and more. So some are free, some extensions are free, and others are paid extras. When you're ready, you can try them out for free. So uh, thank you for your time. Uh, now I will move on to a demonstration of the tool, of these reports that uh, uh, I talked about. And afterwards, I would like to have a short Q&A session to answer any questions that uh, you might have. So let's go over, <coughs> sorry, to, to our server. This is OpenLM. This is the license server screen as, as we've seen. You see I have many servers here. I have ArcGIS server. Autodesk, uh, FlexLM, uh, we support many, many types, FlexLM, DSLS, uh, LMX, RLM, everything, uh, all the market leaders. So for each uh, license uh, server, as you see here, there's uh, all the quantities, all the features inside that server. So <clears throat> I clicked on the uh, license quantity and I see all the features inside that server and how many licenses I have from each one. I can also click here, for example, and get the procurement for the license. So if I, if I check here, I see, I see, for example, this license is expiring, is permanent, is permanent. And this license, Geostats, is expiring about next year. So you can see how many you have. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the uh, type of it, how many have, when it expired, when it started, when it was issued, uh, the feature name, everything, everything about it. Now, uh, this is nice to see for the uh, license quantity, but let's say that you want to know what's going on now. You want to see the current usage. So we can just click on the used and see who is actually using right now. So I see I have uh, Bella, I have Amy, I have Zachary, uh, I have these users which are using right now. It's they pulled licenses and are using right now. I can also, if I scroll to the right, I can see which group they're from, what the project that they're from, which feature they're using, what's the duration of their session. So for example, I see one here with eight hours. So he's probably about to finish his work day. With the extensions, you'll be able to see also the idle time for that feature on that workstation, and you'll be able to close the application remotely. But this is for another webinar, the extensions webinar. I'm not going to go over that right now. So as we've seen, we can see all the license servers, all the licenses inside, and all the users which are using right now. Now this is, uh, this is very informative, but you can't really extrapolate any data from it because it doesn't tell you how many licenses you have. It just tells you that who is using right now. So for that, we can take a look at the license usage report, for example, what you saw in the presentation. So right here, you see the usage, and you see that it's um, it's not maxing out in these months, but right here it starts to max out. Now it's peaking right here, meaning that there are no more um, available licenses left. If anyone tried to pull a license in this instance, then he got denied. Now, it's great to see what's going on and it gives you a general sense of what's going on with your licenses, if you're utilizing them correctly each day, 
and what's going on. You can also show it as a heat map, as you see here. Uh, what's going on during the day, during the week, during the month, and you can aggregate it as you like. So, as we said in here, you can see that it's peaking, it's maxing out. Beyond that, people start getting denied. So, OpenOM also tracks the denials. Here you can see all the denials for that period, for the same license, uh, same feature. You can select the denial type, like limit reached, or whatever. Uh, and you can aggregate it however you'd like. So you see it by user, I can aggregate it by um, organizational group, by hour, for example, hour in day. I can show that one o'clock is the worst hour. I have it, I have many, <clears throat> many denials on that hour, meaning that it, everyone is at full capacity, all the licenses. And also, you can uh, get it as a table format and see it as a table. And you can show a true denials as well. Now, what is a true denial? Let's say that you have an engineer that pulled a license and he got denied. So any rational person will try to get the license again and again and again and again and again, maybe 50 times. So you don't want to see 50 uh, denials. It's not... <clears throat> it's, <coughs> sorry, it's not helping you in, in, in anything to see 50 denials. Uh, well, 50 denials, well, how many licenses do I need? So it shows you, uh, it can show you the aggregated denials and get all those 50 denials and show it to you just as one denial. So I have this user, for example, and I see that within this denial, there is another denial encapsulated inside. So this he, he has two denials, but it's only shown up as one in the chart as well. Now this is great, it shows you historical data, it shows you how far you are from maxing out your licenses, what's going on after you maxed out your licenses, but <clears throat> it doesn't show you how many licenses you actually need. So let's go to the license utilization report, where you see how many licenses you actually need. So these show you the percentage of time each concurrent level was used. So for example, uh, one licenses, only one, only one user pulled it, only one user used it for his whole session, um, is 83% of the time. Two licenses together, meaning that I pull a license and you pull a license and we work together. Two licenses uh, at the same time is 73% of the time. So this enables us to set the quality of service. So let's say I'm okay with the fact that 10% of the time users will get denied. So every every 100 time they will pull a license ten, 10 times, they will get denied. <clears throat> so this shows you the quality of service line, which tells us that we only need 30 licenses in order to reach a 90% quality of service. We have 70 licenses for this feature, but we only need 30, that's less than half of the licenses. And as I said, I had not long ago a client that had uh, 10,000 licenses. And he, by opening this report, he saw that he actually need, needed only five licenses. Now that's a huge reduction. I don't think that you'll all get that reduction, but I promise you, if you open the utilization report on almost any feature, you're gonna save some money. You're gonna find something, uh, some license that you can buy less of and thus pay a lot less. I'll, uh, budget it better, get the budget for more important things and not another license. So uh, the licenses not in use report, it uh, shows you what the license utilization wants to tell you. So the license utilization tells you how much you need. The license not in use tells you how much you don't need. 
Meaning that let's take a look at these features here. These mean that four licenses from this feature were never used. And here, 35 licenses out of this feature was, were never used. So this can help you save a lot when budgeting next year or when you want to ask for a budget or when you want to ask for licenses. Doesn't matter where you are in the organization, it will benefit you if the organization buys less licenses but increases the license utilization. And lastly, I want to talk about uh, the license consolidation and uh, and billing. Some some clients don't bill um, don't bill the users themselves. They bill different groups, and they bill them by the usage duration. So, for example, I have one group which is China, one group which is USA, and both of them are 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 using the same feature, using the same uh, license server, using the same uh, license, everything, but on different times of the day. I'm able to see each group how much they actually use the total amount, the total duration for those sessions. So uh, if I bill, uh, if I have project billing or group billing, then I can bill them accordingly, according to the time that they are using. So this can be also for a group or a project. Now, this is basically everything that I want to show you uh, regarding the OpenLM core functionality. I don't want to overload you. Uh, I just want to go over like a short overview of what we saw. We saw the license server screen. It shows you current, in, current data, current activity. It shows you what's going on now, and it also shows you which licenses you have. If you have like a few missing licenses or maybe a license was bought for a certain project but was uh, not used eventually, then you'll be able to see it here. OpenLM will discover it for you. We saw the license usage report, which shows you how far you are from maxing out your floating licenses and what's the status of it. As we said, you can see it as a chart, as a table, or as a heat map. And also we talked about the denials, which happen if a license uh, is maxed out or just a license is being refused from being pulled. So as we talked about the denials, you can see the denials by any group, uh, uh, any column that you want, you can group it. And you can also show true denials and not all denials. We saw the license utilization report which shows you how many licenses you actually need. The license not in use report that shows you how many licenses you actually don't need. And the license activity report which enables you to group, uh, group the usage, usage duration by different columns and for example, build different groups accordingly. And <clears throat> and that's it. Do you have uh, if you have any questions about the presentation, what you just uh, saw, um, anything? Please, you can write it down in the GoToMeeting chat, or you can just use your microphone and just ask however you'd like. So I'm going to stay here for uh, the next uh, ten minutes. And if you have something on your mind, just ask, no problem. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you all very, very much for uh, giving me a part of your time. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this webinar. Stay, please stay if you have uh, questions you want to ask. Thank you, thank you all.